Hi, it's Emma Nagel. So today I'm doing this makeup tutorial. So I'm showing you guys a really simple tinted moisturizer routine. So I have been getting some requests to do more simple and natural makeup looks. So today I'm sharing my tinted moisturizer routine with you guys. So I'm using no foundation in this tutorial. And this is a look I do wear a lot when I go out. Uh, you know on the daily most of the time when I go out I'm not even wearing makeup but if I do go out wearing makeup this could be one of the looks like one of the base looks that I do so it doesn't leave my skin you know absolutely flawless but it does even it out and it does look very natural so if you like this look please give it a thumbs up and remember to watch in high definition and without further ado here comes the tutorial okay so when i do my tinted moisturizer routine i always like to start out with a mattifying primer and that's because i already have my moisturizer on there's only one moisturizer in the entire world that I can use that doesn't break me out. So I always wear that underneath any makeup. But then because I am putting another moisturizer on top, um, you know, I have a lot of moisture and I already have oily skin. So I need the mattifying primer to make sure that I don't get, you know, too much moisture and too much oiliness. So I'm using Prime and Fine Pore Refining Anti-Shine Base from Catrice. So I'm going to apply it on the forehead, down the nose, right here on the cheeks, and on the chin. So right here, and that's all I do, I don't go on my cheeks or underneath my eyes. And that's because I do not have excess oils on my cheeks. Now I'm actually going to go in with a second primer. And that is an anti-redness primer. And I'm using this because I do have quite a lot of redness in my face. Pretty much the whole center of my face is pretty red, like all around here. So because we are going to use such a light coverage product as a tinted moisturizer is, it's really important for me that I do have something to neutralize my redness. So I use this primer. And of course you could just use one primer, but I really like to mattify my T-zone and then also use the redness correcting primer and I'm just using two because this one is actually a hydrating primer so it's not mattifying at all so I need that other mattifying primer and the other one was clear this one is of course green to neutralize my redness so I apply that on my cheeks to start out with and I do also apply it around the nose and I apply a little bit up here between my brows where I also have some redness and I also go underneath my eye because green will actually help to neutralize your dark circles as well. And I just kind of press that into the skin. So you guys might be able to see that I do have a bit of a green tint to my face now. And of course you do not want to overdo it on the green primer because if you do you can end up with, you know, a green face which is just as bad as a red face. But it is hard to not end up with kind of a green tint. So as long as it's only a little bit, it's okay. And before I go in with my tinted moisturizer, I'm going to apply my concealer. And I'm going to use this W7 Tea Tree Oil Stick Concealer. This is in the color Light Medium. And I'm not going to use this underneath my eyes, just because this is a bit of like, you know, it's a more dry consistency. So I don't want to use it underneath my eyes, but I am going to use it everywhere else. So I'm going to use it on the redness on my chin and I'm going to apply it on this pimple and of course on some of my acne scars over on my cheeks and the other side and I do have some small little dots down here that I'm going to cover up and around the lips and around the nose and right down the nose and up right here between the brows where I have some redness and then I have a few scars and that's about it and I do use a lot of concealer but of course feel free to use however much you need and I am going to dab it out with a damp sponge just to get kind of a more natural finish and I use the big side for the big areas like on my cheeks and by the way, this concealer does have the tea tree oil in it, so it's really great for acne. And just keep on dabbing away. So once you have your concealer on, um, we're going to use the moisturizer, tinted moisturizer. And I'm using e.l.f. Studio Tinted Moisturizer. This has an SPF of 20 
and it's with aloe, cucumber, and vitamins A, C, and E. And I have it in the color Nude. And I actually prefer to apply this with my fingers. I feel like it goes on a lot better in that way. So I'm just going to dab it on and kind of smooth it out with my fingers. And I like to kind of just smooth it out over areas where I did not apply concealer. And then dab it a little bit more on areas where I did apply my concealer. And I do also take it down onto my neck. And you might want to go in with a brush or a sponge or whatever you want. I just find that this particular tinted moisturizer applies better with my fingers. So then I take some paper and I wipe off my hands. So once I have my tinted moisturizer on, I'm actually going to go back in with a bit more concealer. Just on any of the big spots that are still kind of showing through a lot. So this baby down here. And this over here. And a little bit down here and here. And here. And around the nose. And I do go ahead and blend this out with my sponge. So before we go ahead and set this, I'm going to apply some Rimmel Wake Me Up Concealer. I'm going to apply this underneath my eyes and I'm using this one just because it's a liquid formula so it's a little bit more hydrating and better suited for the under eye area. You could also just use this one. I just really like my cover stick. But you just want to apply this underneath the eyes and make sure you get all the way into the inner corner because the inner corners can get quite dark as well and it makes you look really tired if they are dark and again i just blend it out with my sponge and i simply do this to make me look less tired so now you can go ahead and set your makeup with powder if you want to if you have dry skin you may not need to do this but since i have oily skin and you can already see you know a very shiny look on my face i definitely need to set my face so I used my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder in Transparent. So I'm just going to pound it on with my e.l.f. Um, Studio Powder Brush. And I focus on the T-Zone. And if you want a little more coverage, you could definitely use a powder, founda powder foundation or a, you know, a colored powder. But I just want this look to be really simple and really natural. So I'm just using a transparent powder. And I do like to powder over my cheeks as well, just because I feel like sometimes, just because I feel like sometimes um, acne can look worse when it looks very shiny and dewy, and it just looks less noticeable when it's matte. And I also take it down onto my neck, and I also set my under eye area. So then I go in with a light bronzer. This is Elves um, Honey Pressed Powder. And I don't contour when I'm wearing such a light base, so I just use this um, as a bronzer. So I just bronze up my face as I normally would. So I go around my cheeks and I go around my forehead. And then of course around the jaw and down the neck. And I even go in and do a little on each side of the nose. And of course I need to blend that out. As always it's always really important to me that I blend out my face products so now I'm going to use a blush from my 10 piece blush palette by BH Cosmetics and I'm going to use a matte blush because I am going to be wearing a highlighter so I'm going to use this bright Barbie pink and I just smile real big and apply it right here on the apples and I always start on like the outer part of the apple and then blend it you know, towards the nose and back towards the bronzer and my cheeks, my cheekbones. And I also blend it down and I blend it up and I blend it, you know, everywhere. And it really doesn't take a lot of this blush because it is, you know, it's quite pigmented. And you don't want to go overboard. So I do want a bit of glow to my face. So I am going to use my e.l.f. Baked Blush in the color Pink Tastic. It's a very nice like vanilla color. So I apply a touch of that on top on the tops of my cheekbones. And I don't apply a lot. And I do like to go down my nose as well. And right above the lips. I do not apply highlighter like on the forehead or on the chin. Just because I get super oily there. So now I'm going to remove the foundation on my lips. Or the tinted moisturizer. And then I'm going to brush 
for my eyebrows with a brow comb. And then finally I'm going to set my face with my e.l.f. makeup mist and set. Just giving my face like a quick few spritzes. And once that is dry we are done. Okay, so I took my hair down and this is the finished result. So of course now you could go on and do some eye makeup or you could do your brows or your lips. But I just wanted to show you guys um, the base makeup. So yeah, I hope you guys like this more natural makeup look. And I really do like this look because it leaves your skin looking natural but it still looks evened out. So if you like this look, please give it a thumbs up and remember to subscribe if you haven't already. And thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. So take care and bye bye.